Welcome back guys to another episode 2023 is here and I'm gonna show you in this episode all about how to adjust your surf skate so you can have a better feeling and especially adjust your surf skate like how the conditions are same in surfing like choose your board let's hit the intro <laughs> Welcome back to this episode because yes, you can adjust your surf skates. Yeah, when you look at the bottom of your surf skate, there are some screws which you have to know about. The most important screws are obviously about this truck because a surf skate makes, especially the front truck is so special with the surf skate, which allows us to use all those flexible maneuvers in the flat. What you usually also see in all the skateboards is a truck a bit like this. So you see one big screw on top. I would, I would definitely recommend not to adjust so much on that screw, but there is one particular screw which I'm gonna talk about because it's the most impact on your surf skating. But when you look at the, the truck right now, you have the big screw here. With a screwdriver, you can make it more tight or you can make it more loose obviously but I would recommend to not touch that screw at all because when you buy it from the manufacturer usually it's really nice and tight so it's a bit of a flexibility here but you see already it's not moving so much what's more important is this one this for example from Smoothstar is the thruster one you can make this thruster whip turnable so flexible which allows us as surfers or you surf skater to make those tight turns in the flat or in even on a ball or on a pump track so why is it important to know how you can adjust it is the following you see here yes there's a big screw same as here in the truck but i wouldn't do anything here either but there is a screw which is important for you and me obviously and this is this one look at that you see that thruster has a, you see here, an Allen screw. You see that one? An Allen screw. And what you need is, not a screwdriver, you need an Allen key. And the cool thing is, the Allen key comes with the surf skate, no worries. What you have to know is, in that truck, I hope you can see it, I do a close up. In that front truck, in that thruster one, there is one spring inside which you can make it more tight or more loose. Why is it important? When you make that spring inside more loose, your thruster, look, will be more flexible. And if you put the screw more tight, you will have it more stiff. Why is it important? Why is it important to know? I will come to the performance in a minute. How to make it more tight and more loose? You just get your Allen key. What you have to do is just put it where the screw is. And now you have two options. You can turn clockwise, means like from the left to the right. So in this direction, this is called clockwise. So you make it tighter. Yeah? Or you can screw in the other direction, anti-clockwise, means from the right to the left in this direction. If you do that, you make it looser. I do it a few times, whoosh, and you will feel it as well when you hold your surf skate in your hand, it's more loose to the side. On the other hand, if you screw it from the left to the right, means clockwise, yeah, the old time clocks, you know, they have like two arrows, show the minutes and hours not digital. So from left to right, you make it tighter again. Watch this video till the end. Why is it important to know and why is it important to adjust? So I did a few times clockwise with your LM key. Just want to go off. And now you can feel it already when you hold your surf skate. It's a little bit more tight to turn it to the right and left. Okay? So why is that important? I will explain now. So have a look what kind of impact it has when I totally soften it. So it's really soft and loose, so you can make really tight turns in the flat. Have a look.
But what happens if I turn it to the other side? So when I make it more tight from the left to the right, you will see now because it will be tight. And I will tell you in a second for what situation it is important. Have a look how it would look like if it's totally tight. As you can see, it's a little bit more stiff. So what's important is once it's stiffer, it's definitely good for you if you, for example, carve in the city or in a pump track where you don't want to have the truck really loose. So in a pump track, in a bowl, or when you skate, cruise along um, in your city. So that's why if you turn it totally to the right and make it more stiff, the truck will be more in control. So I hope that episode was clear for you to adjust a small tip. Try it yourself, just try it out. Like make it more tight, make it more soft. Obviously you have to have a, like a surf skate which you have that special spring inside. For example with Smooth Star, if you still looking for a surf skate, check out the link below. I hope this video helped you to understand the adjustment of a surf skate. Nevertheless, if you not already know, of course, I'm Daniel, your surf companion, surf coach and co-founder of the Surf Companions. And if you're looking for more surf knowledge, you should check out the link below for your Surf Companions book, which shows you in depth, in illustrations, what you actually have to do. Furthermore, if you like the content which you just saw, yes, I'm smashing this year. I'm dedicating this year to you and your surf and surf skate knowledge. I developed a whole surf skate online course access directly here in the link below. If you want to have the whole proper surf skate knowledge, just check it out below. Can't wait to see you in the next video. And yes, and because it's dedicated to you, you can leave a comment below if you liked it, what to improve, because I'm still le learning and growing with you guys. If you want to have a certain topic explained, well, smash the like and leave a comment below. And I can't wait to see you in the next video, by the way, if you like, subscribe what I'm doing here. So, can't wait to see you next time. Daniel from the Surf Companions.